Are you living your best life as a salesperson or entrepreneur? Or do you find you're working all the time on this hamster wheel of life while stressed out and not financially free, which is the exact opposite of what you had signed up for, especially now in this global pandemic? If this is you, you are not alone. I found myself there in 2008 when I lost everything, including my health, and had to pivot working from home for the first time with no money. I rebuilt my life from scratch, juggling motherhood and marriage to get my life back and be recession and pandemic proof today. Now we live laptop lifestyles with our kids and are poised to travel the world together. How did we do it? Join me as I share my health and wealth and wisdom secrets, tips, tools, and expert interviews to equip you to be recession proof and live your best life. My name is Lois Kofi, and this is Healthy and Wealthy and Wise. All right, all right, all right. Well, happy day to all of you. This is Lois Covey here for another monologue. This month has been a very, very pivotal month because it has been focused on suicide awareness and mental health. And part of my journey has been interviewing authentic people, change makers, people who have been through the gamut and overcome major obstacles in their life. And I'm I'm so excited. I'm going to be rounding out the month here with a lot of powerhouse women in my life. Liza Lomax is going to be talking about body image issues and how your mirror is, you know, really the lens that you perceive it to be. Uh, also going to be having Angela Verma come in and talk about turning problems into possibilities. And of course, Finishing the month out with my advanced grief therapist and support person who helped me grow this year through my, the death of my brother, the death of my mom, and actually really helped me grieve a lot of losses. Uh, and that's Rosie Fox, who's going to be rounding out the month of September and this powerful, all of these powerful messages. And today I thought I'd, I'd take and share a personal story, kind of a business perspective, something that has breathed life into me this year that I never would have imagined. Another paradigm shift that, you know, I'm all about failing forward and progress, not perfection, and sharing with you my, you know, shortcomings, if you want to call them failures, none of those words bother me anymore. <laughs> I used to have some some issues around some of those words, but they're from a logical standpoint, yeah, it's uh, sometimes you fall short and you get back up and you keep going. I always believe in shooting for the moon and hanging in the stars. And I already shared with you one paradigm shift this year that I had around email marketing. Um, just so you know, by the way, I continue to be blown away by the income that has come in since I shifted that paradigm. You know, I shared with you guys that in um, in the month of August, uh, July and August alone, I, I created a $35,000 ROI. Um, and I've, I've had a lot more ROI since then and still moving forward in that. In fact, I'm teaching a class this Saturday. I'll talk more about that later. Um, Saturday, September 26th, which by the time you guys hear this live, it'll be Friday the 25th. So I will be sharing with you this class in just 24 hours. So space is limited. You're going to want to act fast. And I will put the link to the class in the show notes. So the other paradigm that I'll talk about during that class is my paradigm around landing pages. Now, before COVID, face-to-face, belly-to-belly was I, um, collecting business cards, shaking hands, kissing babies, going to cocktail hour, happy hour, parties, you know, all of the things, turning strangers into friends. I just love people. And even if you weren't an extrovert like me before COVID, you had to talk to people. You had to develop trust and rapport, build those relationships, because selling a service, finding a need, and filling it with what you do. Now, there were a lot of people who were already in email marketing, already in landing pages, all into the stuff, but they still had to present their possibilities out in the world some way, somehow. It doesn't just happen automatically sitting in your basement playing on the computer, right? There's a skill. There's, I would actually call it an art and a science. And it also goes along with 
everything that I've always believed in attraction marketing. Your energy is felt through the internet. Your energy is conveyed by your brand. And believe it or not, before COVID, I really just thought I needed a website. I really did. And I thought landing pages were too much work. I First of all, I judged landing pages because my first quote I ever got from someone, and by the way, I, I still believe in professionals. I still refer to web designers. I still refer, refer to marketing people. And I still you know, have coaches and experts that I talk to about this stuff. But I really kind of poo-pooed the idea of having websites and landing pages, but I, I, I did acquiesce. I got a website last year. Really, really proud of my website at loiskofi.com. However, I wasn't really utilizing it much. I wasn't getting a lot of conversions because, again, I was thinking face-to-face, belly-to-belly. Well, then COVID hit. And I was talking to my coaches and I'm like, man, you guys put out landing pages like uh, breathing, you know, um, and, and putting those out every week, sometimes multiple times a week. And I'm like, gosh, how and why do you do that? What's what's the point? Don't you have a website? And actually, both of them kind of laughed and said, yeah, Lois, but our, our, our business is moving so fast. We're having so many webinars, so many podcasts, so many events, so many new tools, products, and services. We need a landing page for every single one. So I started doing research. I found landing pages, uh, tools that I love that, quite honestly, I use every day now. And that actually is a hidden element of how I've made now over $40,000 since July in revenue and ROI and other tools and and bells and whistles that I, I achieved and was awarded. And I had no idea. I think, eh, I don't need landing pages. And then COVID hit. My coaches taught me something. I was open and realizing I need to pivot. You can teach a 42, now 43 year old, new tricks. So I pivoted quickly, swiftly, and literally now I can make a new landing page every day for free. I found some really cool tools. It's actually been amazing. And one of those things that I can teach you how I do that on my Saturday class. But what I want to talk about today is not how to do that because that's that's what my class is for just how do I utilize landing pages? How has it helped increase my income? Well, first and foremost, every single product and service, every single podcast I do, every single different offering that I have, I have got to have a landing page. I've got to be able to say, you know what, when someone asks me, Lois, what do you do? How do you help? Well, first of all, I follow my sales process. I'll ask them some questions, you know, form that relationship, build that trust and rapport. And then based on their response, I'll share with them a landing page. You know, I do have scalable options. I believe in this new normal, you have to have scalable options. My coaches actually taught how to, you know, slash your prices during COVID, but actually increase your income by doing that. So now I'm sharing that message with you. Because really getting your message out there, having your voice heard, being able to help people, for me at least, that has improved my mental health. I've been through a lot this year, a lot of loss, a lot of letting go. I've had to get rid of a few relationships and things and just different stuff as we pivot and grow and evolve and become true at in our highest and best version of ourselves. It's actually been a cleansing year for me. And I've changed so much. I feel like the the butterfly has flown from the cocoon and I'm still learning constantly. So since this is Suicide Awareness Month and Mental Health Month, I'll just be transparent with you. If I didn't have all of these new tools, if I hadn't opened my mind, I would not have grown my income. Therefore, I would have probably been frustrated beyond belief still doing all the things that I was doing for the past 20 years. You know, the 20 to 30 phone calls a day, going through extra steps, people asking me, well, what do you do and all? How can you help? And I just send them my website. But to be honest with you guys, my website has all sorts of stuff on it. 
It has everything on it. It even has my landing pages attached to it, but my landing pages are more personalized. My landing page will talk about a specific product or service. I'll have a video on there. I'll even have a podcast episode on some of them that's specific to my offering. I'll always want to be inviting people and having a direct talking head message. And I got to tell you what, guys, it's increased my sales. I wish I could say by a percentage. I've just been rocking and rolling. I know one weekend I had a landing page. And if I would have had to wait for my website developer and said, hey, on a Friday afternoon when I got the idea, if I had to call them up and say, hey, I need this update, number one, they probably would have said, well, we can't get to this till Monday. Then I would have had to wait another 48 to 72 hours for them to update it. And guess how many sales I made because I had the ability to whip up a landing page, get it out Friday night. Over the course of those next four to five days, I made over 20 sales. And actually with that landing page, I ended up making over 100 sales using all the tools and techniques and things that I'm going to be sharing with you on Saturday, September 26th for a three-hour action-packed class. My other passion... And why I'm so fired up, guys, about these landing pages is because I actually have found if I meet someone on Facebook or LinkedIn and they, I pique their curiosity about what I have going on enough where when I say, hey, would you like to take a look at my landing page? It shows you what I'm working on right now. You'll send it out to that person They'll take a look at it, inevitably, they'll sign up and get into my funnel. And even if they don't sign up right away, I'll ask them permission like, hey, would you mind if I stay in touch with you about all of the things that I have to offer? Again, I'm going to teach all of this on the class. It, that's I'm not hunting. I'm farming. I'm building relationships, trust, and rapport. But really, you got to get people off of Facebook and LinkedIn, guys. And I found one of the easiest ways for me is by having these landing pages in my back pocket. I've met people inside of Facebook groups that were total strangers. And within two hours of meeting them, they became a paying customer because I had a landing page. And of course, the price was right, the timing, all of the things, right? So I, I met so many people who don't get the value in landing pages and in, in my software that I use, I have unlimited landing pages. Whereas before, um, you know, getting a quote for one landing page from a professional was $1,000 a pop. Granted, it would have been awesome. And, you know, if I needed to, I'd go back and, and hire that person. But a lot of us right now don't have a budget for $1,000 per landing page. And if I can help you guys find ways to as I like to call it, hack your way to a laptop lifestyle and have all of the tools and all of the tricks to be able to create a four to five figure income every month like I have created or even more. I am on this journey to get to a six figure a month or more income so that I can donate tons and tons of money to my passions, which are mental health and suicide awareness. What are you passionate about? Are you focused on the negativity of 2020 or are you focused on the creativity of 2020? I was just being interviewed for a podcast. I helped a friend launch a podcast and super excited for them. And they interviewed me as one of their launch partners. And being able to share what I learned from the last great recession, the, the great recession of 2006, 7 and 8 prepared me for this moment. And if I had any other advice today to close out this podcast, I would absolutely tell you, this is a year of possibilities and creativity. If you can go into creative mode, solution mode, and ask one of my favorite questions is, what if I blank? What if I had a landing page or two or three or four or five? What if I started email marketing, even just once a week or twice a month? What if I got people off of Facebook and started building my own tribe? What if I was able to 
convert leads every single day and make a sale a day or one sale a week? What would that do for your family, for your future? Instead of complaining about masks or this or that or the other thing. I encourage you to stay in possibilities mode, creativity mode. You're going to be hearing more about that from my podcast guests here very, very soon. So I hope you tune in and tune out. And I I hope you got something today because part of my mental health awareness month focus is really shifting and raising your consciousness and your awareness around these new possibilities that like as they have for me have changed and transformed my life so again if you're looking to convert leads off of facebook and linkedin and i don't care how you do it if you do facebook ads i'm not a huge fan but if you do facebook ads and you're able to get them into your funnel get them with your landing pages. So I do know landing pages are great for Facebook ads. If you were able to get people off LinkedIn and into your pipeline and drip on them and build those amazing trust building relationships, if you were able to have unlimited landing pages and unlimited leads coming in on a regular basis, what would that do for your income? What would that do for your life? I think it would do a lot. So I invite you to my list build and monetize email class tomorrow, September 26th. It's from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Pacific time, so 12 to 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. And if you can't attend the whole thing, you'll absolutely get the recording. The class is only $27. I could have charged $1,000 or more for the value uh, because I, I do actually charge $500 an hour for coaching Um, I wanted to make this accessible for you and your sales team. So bring your sales team, refer your network marketing friends, your coaches, your speakers, your authors, sales teams of five to 10, and just know that it is going to likely sell out. Um, I do have a cap on how many people can attend. So hopefully at the time that you catch this, um, even if you've missed it, if it's past the date and you catch this at a later date, I will happily still evergreen sell this course to you because you're a viewer and a listener of this podcast. The price will go up, but uh, in the link that I'm going to share in this podcast episode notes, I will keep it at $27 in case you happened to miss the live workshop. But if you can't attend, roll up your sleeves, bring your notebooks, Bring your sales team, bring your spouse, bring your computers. We're going to get down and dirty with Facebook, LinkedIn, landing pages, and email campaigns, and we're going to go to town. It's going to be amazing. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time, here's to your best health, your best wealth, and your best wisdom. Bye-bye for now. Hey, guys. Thank you so much for listening to this episode. If you enjoyed this Please subscribe, refer a friend, and please drop me a rating or a review. If you do that, I'll reward you with a free 20-minute free coaching session on crafting your journey to your best self. Reach out to me at lois at loiskofi.com to claim your 20-minute slot. Until next time, be healthy, wealthy, and wise.